The fear of speed overcomes the fear of death. That's what Hunter S. Thompson used to say about writing one of these. The faster you go, the more thrilled you become. The more thrilled you become, the more fearless you feel. That's why so many of us love motorbikes, I guess. Could you please raise your hands if you ever dreamt of owning a motorbike and speeding down a beautiful road? And raise them again if you came here today on a motorbike? <laughs> quite, quite a difference. But everybody loves entrepreneurs, right? Could you please raise your hands again if you ever dreamt of being an entrepreneur? Thank you. And raise them again if you are an entrepreneur yourself. You see, that's the thing. The truth is that very few dare to become an entrepreneur, especially in Denmark. A recent study shows that we are the number one OECD country when it comes to admiring entrepreneurs, but we're at the bottom four when it comes to becoming entrepreneurs. That's a huge gap. And it gets even worse the more educated you are. According to another study, the lower your chances are to become an entrepreneur. That's the flip side of the coin, living in a welfare state. The simple reason why, besides having our social security, is that we're afraid to fail. We prefer working in corporations or in the public sector, rather than sticking out our neck. And 70% of us go to work unmotivated. That is a real double paradox and a real challenge for the future. Standing on your own is scary stuff, I know. I quit my job at Lego to become an entrepreneur again. How stupid could I be? But I haven't regretted it once. Working at Lego is not like riding a motorbike. It's a big, comfy corporate bus with all the conveniences you need, traveling safe on the highway. But I had a strong desire to go back on the small roads again riding a motorbike. What most people don't get is that for many people, entrepreneurship isn't about money, exit strategies, or prestige. It's simply about creating things, the joy of building, and the pride of making an impact. I used to be an artist many years ago, going to the studio in the morning, starting on a blank canvas, or rethink and redo what I did yesterday to see what it could become. And I've realized over the years, it's exactly the same field you tap into when you're in flow in business as when you're in flow as an artist. Being in business and being an artist, for me, are the same thing. And I truly believe that business is the most creative field you can be in today. There are no textbook rules, just a bunch of pieces that need to be put together without a manual. The gap between the businessman and the artist has shrunk. And obstacles and excuses to create exactly your personal piece of work and make an impact are disappearing day by day. For me, it's a bit like riding on a motorbike. It's about freedom, speed, and acceleration. And also a little stupid and dangerous. Those of you who ride a motorbike know it's a completely different experience than a car. You're present and you're alive. You can smell the flowers, the forest, and the sea. The rush of the motorbike ride is the same as the startup rush. It releases dopamines that makes us happy. It makes us glad. The only thing stopping us from that is fear. Fear. Well, and money from investors. So in 2015, I co-founded a design agency, and we decided to use 20% of our time helping startups by sharing our knowledge in design, business development and communication in exchange for shares and revenue streams. We want to get on the motorbike and make sure it accelerates. We believe in new ways of working together and that new currencies are needed to help startups. We call this design friendship and right now we're part of four startups investing time instead of money. It commits us in a completely different way because we're on the back seat of the motorbike, not beside it. Design friendship is about washing away the line between us and the client instead of having a traditional customer and supplier relationship. And we're driven by natural curiosity and lots of questions in our agency, aiming to get our clients to stand out from the crowd. 
My best advice for a startup is simple. Scratch your own itch. Find something that annoys you or that you can do better and start fixing it. It's the best starting point. You understand your product or your service and would be a customer yourself. Don't think too much if you want to start up something. You can't figure it all out from the beginning anyway. When you're riding the motorbike, it's not about where you're going, but how you get there. Enjoying the ride. You probably noticed I use a lot of motorbike metaphors. I used to ride one of these. It's called a Nimbus. It's the only mass-produced Danish motorbike ever built. And it uh, was my great-granddad who invented it. It's him up here with my grandmom on the back seat. He literally invented it in his basement and grew an international company from his obsession with mechanics. And I'm not saying we should all invent the next Nimbus, but at least go to the basement and give it a shot. Doing startup collaborations in our agency is a bumpy road and we make tons of mistakes. But that's okay. It's part of the process and the learning. Try to make many tiny decisions instead of a few big ones. Done is better than perfect. That's learning by doing. The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. And a lot of that are mistakes. But think of them as your friend. When was the last time you learned from success? We should embrace mistakes and not stigmatize them. What you intuitively learn from riding a motorbike is to quickly observe your mistakes and correct them to prevent fatal consequences. Same goes for startups. Fail fast and you are on the right track. Speaking of the right track, I have a little exercise for you. I would uh, like you all to close your eyes and take a deep breath. Think of your work life right now. Am I making an impact? Am I being recognized? Am I bringing my dreams to life? Now, think of yourself on a motorbike on a small road on a sunny day. Feel the wind in your hair. Smell the places you're going. Feel the freedom and just be there. Now, please open your eyes again. If you're in line with most surveys, half of you probably have an urge to do something differently in your work life right now. Maybe it's your time to become an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur is a personal choice at the end of the day, whether your country has a high social security or not. As they say, there's a first time for everything. So, what is stopping you from pursuing your dreams? I encourage you to do what you love, to do what makes you glad. Dare to fail to succeed. The thrill of speed and freedom will overcome it all. Ride the bike and have fun along the way. Thank you.